The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, 6th Chapter, Text Number 3 through 7, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in March of 1968 in San Francisco. Sullavang Manasan Janma Tadopi Adhurvam Arthadam This human form of body, it is very rarely obtained. Oh. It is not to be misused. That is the first knowledge, that people are not educated in that way. Ah, they are encouraged that gone sense in jam, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Oh. Some rascal comes, say, he also says, all right, gone, enjoy. Simply meditate for fifteen minutes. But actually, this body is not meant for aggravating sense enjoyment. Oh. We require sense enjoyment because that is a demand of the body. If we want to keep body in healthy condition, then the demands of the body, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, must be provided. But it should not be aggravated. Therefore, in the human form of life, tapasya, tapasya means austerity, penance, bhav. These are the teachings of all scriptures. Either you take Hindu scripture or Christian scripture or Mahavadana scripture, in every scripture, human form of life is meant for training. Tapo uh, vidyam, Lord Vishava, he instructed his boy, he had one hundred children, boys. So he instructed them, Nāyana deha deho bhājāna niloke kastāna kāmāna arhati vīr bhujāna ji. My dear boys, this form, human form of life, although it is a body, but this body is in human society. Nāyana deva, deva bhājāna niloke. Niloke means, ni means man. So when the body is obtained in the human society, not in the dog society, not in the cat society, that body is not meant for simply working very hard and uh, ultimate uh, sense that's all. People are being taught in this way, that work very hard day and night, earn money and enjoy things. Nothing more. So this sort of civilization is condemned. The real civilization is that one has to uh, control. Control. What is the difference between a man and an animal? Now suppose there is very nice foodstuff. In your country it is not uh, seen. In our India, the foodstuff, the, I mean, say, confectioner, they very nicely decorate in the street for selling. So one cow is here, of course, in the street. Cow is also not visible. In India, in the street, there are many cows. They are allowed to move free. And sometimes the foodstuff is there and the cow immediately uh, grabs the foodstuff and eats half of it. Now, there, there are human beings also. Suppose a man is there, he is poor man, he is hungry, and he wants to eat that food stuff. But because he is human being, he has got the control. Uh, he is not like the, uh, I mean to say, cow that immediately uh, takes out the food. Even if he is poor, he can beg. My dear sir, can you spread little food stuff? But he will not. 
This is human. Human. Uh, suppose if there is a beautiful girl, uh, and one man is attracted, still he will feel safe to uh, capture that girl. Uh, of course, here uh, yeah, I see the boys and girls, they are kissing in the street. Uh, and in India it is very uncivil. Uh, no boy, no girl will do that. Because it is a training. It is a training. So by training one can restrain the senses. And the more you restrain your senses, the more you become slackened for this material slack, uh, shackles. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says that if you think that uh, uh, sense enjoyment is the pleasure of life, uh, that can be had uh, in all sorts of other bodies. Uh, the hog also has got sense enjoyment, the dog also has got sense enjoyment. Uh, they are not forbidden. Nature has provided sense enjoyment for cats, dogs, and uh, birds, beasts, everyone, because that is the demand. Uh, so human life, uh, of course, this should be uh, uh, restricted or as much as possible as it is available without any uh, extraneous and endeavor. Just like we allow our students to so get yourself married, so by grace of Krishna, the wife or the husband which you have, just live peacefully. But don't try to encroach upon others' wife or others' husband. That should be lesson. That is human. So we have to live very peacefully so that we may not be disturbed in our material existence, but our ultimate aim should be a spiritual realization. Sukhama indra kakam dhritya dehu yogina de sarvatra labha. If you are after sense enjoyment, sarvatra means in all species of life. Suppose you happen to get a body, next body, as a hog, as a dog, or even a lower than that, that sense enjoyment will be there. But this opportunity will not be there. This opportunity to make yourself Krishna conscious, ne? Krishna conscious, and just to leave this uh, condemned place and go back to Godhead, that opportunity will not be there. That opportunity is for the human being. Therefore, Prahlad Mahasya says, Tatprayasana Tattabha Jatu Jatra Ayud Vayoparam. Therefore, we should not simply waste our time for improving the paraphernalia of sense and joy. The modern civilization is simply increasing the paraphernalia of sense There is no arrangement for advancement of spiritual knowledge. That is the defect of modern civilization. And Prahlad Maharaj says that sarvatra labhati daivat jatha dukkha matasnata tatprayasana prattabha jatra ayud bhayapra. If you waste our time. We should, every one of us should always be conscious that this human form of life, although the body is material and there are so many material demands, so we have to think, we have to uh, adjust things in such a way that my uh, major portion of my attention or energy may be employed for advancing spiritual consciousness of Krishna. 
that should be the motto of our life. They may, because we have got limited energy, limited life. Uh, suppose you have to live for hundred years. I think nobody is going to live for hundred years. But supposing if you live for hundred years, so your energy is limited. Your duration of life is limited. Uh, suppose I am old man. I have to live for, say, eighty years or ninety years. So seventy-two years I am now. That means I have already died seventy-two years. The balance portion of my life I have to complete. We are dying every moment. That is medical science. Ah, we are changing every moment body and then dying every moment. Death as is accompanying me from the day of my birth. Ah, this child, if you ask, how old this child? Oh, it is one month. That means he has already died one month. One month, death is already there. We say that he is uh, growing. No, he is decreasing. Decreasing. Actual fact is decreasing. Therefore we should not waste our time. We should be very serious about our life. Uh, but Lord Maharaj says, tatprayasana tattabha jatva ayudvayopara. Ayu means duration of life. Simply wasted. Uh, simply wasted. Why simply wasted? Because for sense enjoyment, whatever you have to get, that is already arranged. Ah. If you if you are a cat, oh, your sense enjoyment is already arranged. If you are a dog, oh, your sense enjoyment is already arranged. Similarly, if you are a human being, your sense enjoyment, if a cat can have sense enjoyment without arranging for it, if a dog can have sense enjoyment without arranging for it, do you think that a human being will not have sense enjoyment without arranging for it? Then why should you waste your time for sense enjoyment? The arrangement is already there by nature. A man or woman has to satisfy his senses. By nature there is arrangement. Rest assured. Don't waste your time for improving sense enjoyment. That means wasting time. You cannot get more than what is destined to you. A dog or a cat cannot get more sense enjoyment than his, his body will allow. Similarly, we have got particular type of body. According to our association of different modes of material nature, now we have got, say, about 100 men or 50 or 60 men sitting here, Nobody's body will be just equal to the other's body. You examine? Everybody is different from other's body. Nobody's face will be exactly the face of the other man. So by nature's process, the subtle law is such nice that according to the association of the modes of material nature, you have got a particular type of body. That means you are meant for a particular standard of sense in general. Suppose your body is born uh, in a low family, or oh, you cannot expect sense in German uh, as, as the higher grade person they enjoy. That's not possible. Uh, so one should be satisfied. Oh, Krishna has given me this body. And he has given me this arrangement of sense and that, let him sense. My real business is how to advance my Krishna consciousness. So Prahlad Maharaj advises very nicely, my dear friend, Tat Prayasana Kattabha Jato Ayut Bayoparam. Don't uh, exert yourself. Why? Increasing the paraphernalia of sense enjoyment, that is simply wasting your valuable time, your valuable duration of life. Because we must know the duration of life is limited. That will finish as sure as death. And before death comes, 
again. We must prepare in such a nice way. No more death, no more birth. That is education. Therefore Bhagavad says that he is not a spiritual master, he is not a father, he is not a mother, he is not a friend. In this way he is not an husband who, who cannot protect his word from the impending death. That means the father, uh, the spiritual master, the husband or the protector should be so spiritually advanced that he will teach his protect, his work in such a nice way that no more birth, no more death, in this life Krishna consciousness education is finished so that after living this body, tattādīham punat janma naiti. After God speaking this body, no more birth again, then what is that? Tattādīham punat janma naiti māmeti kamtya. He goes back to God. This should be the, uh, I mean to say, uh, objective of human uh, life. How to develop Krishna consciousness and how to get away from this uncongenial atmosphere of material existence. Unless we understand that uh, better people, they think that they are very happy, this is illusion, this is maya. Tapyasana kattapya jatra yuparma na katha vinna de chimam mukunda charanam vijam. Yes. So, Prahlad Maharaj says, na katha vinna de chimam. Chimam means hospicity. The highest hospicity of life is to reconnect his lost relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead or Krishna. This is called yoga. The real yoga means this, that we are, at the present moment, we have lost our uh, consciousness. Not actually we have lost our consciousness, we have lost our Memory. Consciousness is there. That we, uh, consciousness may be uh, different, differently contaminated. Uh, different person, your consciousness may be different from my consciousness. You are thinking in a different way, I am thinking in different way. Similarly, consciousness is there. That is the symptom of life, since our spirit so. But uh, the difference is, due to material contamination. Just like uh, superficially your blood and my blood, uh, the same, red. But if we analyze, oh, there may be so many chemicals present in your blood and so many chemicals may be present, which is not exactly equal. Similarly, uh, as soon as there is life and there is uh, spirit, so, the focus of the spirit soul consciousness must be there. No. I am present in this body, how I can understand? Because this consciousness, you pinch any part of your body, you see, no. this is your consciousness. That means I am present in this body. And as soon as I am away from this body, you may cut this body into pieces, there will be no consciousness, there is no feeling. No. So, uh, our consciousness should be uh, purified. Uh, now the consciousness is contaminated by material association in so many ways. Just like the blood purification tonic is given. If the doctor finds by examination of the blood uh, in your country, uh, as soon as you go to a doctor, immediately, please offer him your blood. The demand is immediately blood. Then you are for scientific. Ah. 
a modern science. But according to Ayurvedic system, there is no demand of uh, blood. They feel the pulse. And according to the different, uh, I mean, say, movement of the pulse, uh, they can understand what kind of disease is there. All right, that is a medical sign. So anyway, uh, Prahlad Maharaj says, natakha vinnate chemam. In instead of wasting your time, <coughs> for increasing the standard of sense gratification, the best thing will be to apply your energy for reviving your original Krishna concept. Natatha vindate chema mukunda charanambuja. Natatha vindate chema mukunda charanambuja. Tatprayasa tatsa. Tatprayasa. That in the verse should be done. By which your time is not wasted. But you can revive, you can purify your consciousness, you can revive yourself to your original position, and that is your highest gain. Tato jateta kusala chemaya bhava mastita sariram purusham jaman lo vipadde puskalam. My dear friend, therefore, so long the body is not fallen, and so long death does not come. Sariram So tato jateta kusala. You must try for the highest benediction. Kusala. Kusala means benediction. So long you are in this body, please try to achieve that success. Full Krishna concept. Pumsa varsa satam vyayu tad ardham cha aditatmana. Now, supposing that we have got a hundred years of age. Now, uh, Prasad Maharaj says that although you have got one hundred years to live, but because we cannot control our senses, uh, therefore it, is, it should be taken half, fifty years. Why? Now because out of twenty-four hours we sleep more than twelve hours. So why do we sleep? Oh, there is no activity. So immediately cut off, fifty years. Because you cannot work, although you have got duration of life, one hundred years, but you cannot work one hundred years. Fifty years immediately cut off on account of aditātmana. Aditātmana means one who has not controlled the senses. So every one of us uh, cannot control. Uh, most of us. Therefore, half of the age is immediately cut off. Nishphalam jadasau rātraṁ sete andhaṁ prāpita stamaha. Why it is cut off? Uh, because without any profit we sleep very soundly and therefore uh, it is simply wasted. Then Mugdasa bale kausare kriyata jati vingsat. Then suppose there is fifty years balance, oh, sufficient balance. Then he says, then bale, a kausare, bale means uh, up to five years, and uh, five years to uh, eleven years, bale kausare, uh, because children generally. Uh, from five years to twelve, thirteen years, they are very uh, fond of playing. Uh, so, so, Nishphalam Mugdhasya Bale Kausare Kirata Jati Vinshati. Twenty years is wasted simply for uh, playing. Uh, so, half uh, duration of life immediately cut off. Then again, out of that fifty years, 
again twenty years cut off. Then Jaraya Grasta Dehasya Jato Kalpasya Vinsati. Then uh, cut off another twenty years uh, due to uh, uh, old age, invalidity, and uh, so many other accidents and oh, so many other things. So it's cutting, cutting, cutting. Durapurena Kamena Mohina Chabuliyasa Sesam Grihasya Shaktesu Pramatta Sahajati. In this way, when a man is too much addicted to the materialistic way of life, uh, cannot give up the family life, uh, you will find many old men uh, almost going to die. But still there is family attachment. Uh, it is very difficult to get out of family attachment. Uh, although the other members, his wife, his son, disgusted with the old man, and all of them want that this old man may die very soon. He's simply bothering us. But the old man tries to leave. Oh, let me leave for some time. Uh, don't drive me away. Uh, uh, I understand that in Russia, they uh, intentionally try to kill these old men. Uh, and in Africa I have heard there are still uh, cannibals. They make a feast by killing the grandfather. <coughs> so old man is always neglected in the society. And therefore I have come out of my home. I have taken your shelter. You see? It is actually fact, you see. So in this way we are wasting our time. Sankaracharya, he was uh, uh, walking on the street and he was lamenting because he has got the eyes to see uh, what he says. He says, Oh, Balastava Kriyasat. Oh, all the boys have seen the street. They are very nicely playing. Uh, they do not know anything except Ah, play. Balastavatira Shakta, Turuni Savat Turuni Rakta. And the young youngsters are there after young girls uh, embracing, kissing, that's all. So Turuna Stavat Turuni Rakta and those they and Vridha Stavat Chintamagna. And the old man they're thinking how to pull on uh, what to do. How to adjust family affairs. Parame uh, Brahmani Kopina Lagna. Oh, it is very lamentable. Nobody is interested in Krishna consciousness. He is there. Because he has got to, he has seen uh, practically uh, a sannyasi is supposed to wander from one country, one village to another. So he is lamenting. Bharastavakti Rasapta. Oh, boys are playing. They are not being trained in Krishna consciousness. Uh, the youth, they are very much uh, enjoying. Uh, so the old men, they are thinking deep, thoughtful, uh, the same thing. And But nobody is interested. Uh, so the same thing. Duraparena kamena mohina ca buliyasa sesam grihesu saktasya pramattasya bhujati. At the last end, the old man, uh, because this material world is such a nice place that nobody can adjust him. It is simply a waste of time who are trying to uh, adjust him. The other day in television or radio, uh, the man asked me, uh, Samiji, whether it is possible to uh, adjust the uh, misadjustments of this material world. I told him flatly that it is not possible. Uh, you can simply refer the history that uh, the same thing is the history repeats itself. Uh, and when there was Roman Empire, Mughal Empire, the same strife, the same political dissension, the same fight, everything was there, say, uh, two thousand years before, as history gives us evidence, and the same thing is happening. So there is no adjustment. The only adjustment is 
کرشنا کانس ہے سو لانگ یور لائف از دیئر یو جسٹ امپرو ریوائو یور اوریجنل کانسیس میں واٹ از دیٹ دا کرشنا ہر دی لاڈ ہر گاڈ از گریٹ اینڈ از اٹرنل سیلبس This is Krishna consciousness. Krishna means the supreme personality of God. And I mean I am his eternal part and parcel. Every one of us servants. Everyone. Now you are all uh, boys, ladies and gentlemen sitting here. Uh, nobody can say that I am not servant. Everyone is servant. Everyone is servant. If he is not servant to anyone, at least he is servant for, of a dog, you see. So servant to you, yeah. but we are thinking, I am master. This is Maya. This is Maya. Actually I am servant. I am serving this, that, 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 so many. Even President was, uh, uh, John Sir, he is also servant of the nation. Uh, so nobody is master. Similarly, if you take precedent, if you go higher, if you go up to Brahma, if you go still more and more, everyone is servant. Therefore, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is very nicely said that Egola Ishar Krishna Arasad Bhitta. The only one master is Krishna, and everyone is servant. The only one master is the Supreme Personality of God. And all other living entities, they are all servants. He may be a Brahma, he may be a president, he may be a minister, or he may be a cat, or he may be a dog, or whatever he may be. Everyone is servant. And to understand this philosophy is Krishna consciousness. It is not very difficult. It is not very difficult. If we understand our position, but my spell is so nice that everyone is thinking, I am master, I am president, I am uh, minister, I am teacher, I am philosopher, I am scientist, I am this, I am that. At last, I am God. When everything fails, when everything fails, he thinks, oh, I am God. Although he is still a dog. This is called Maya. Oh. And to get out of Maya means to understand one's position that I am eternal servant. That's it. This is Krishna consciousness. And uh, the further advancement of this understanding of Krishna consciousness is that, that If I am constitutionally a servant, then what sort of service I am rendering? Oh. Kama dinam kotidhana kotidha palita dunnitas. I have become servant of my lust, of my greediness, of my avarice, of my anger, of my senses. Yes. I have become servant of all these things. Actually, I am nobody's servant, but I am servant of my senses. When I go to, to work somewhere, actually, I do not believe that I am his servant, but I go there to get money. Uh, so, I am servant of money, and why I require money? For sense gratification, therefore I am servant of senses. So actually I am now servant of senses, everyone. Oh. So that has to be transformed. In instead of being servant of the senses of your so-called material body, you have to become the servant of the senses of Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness means Agree, Krishna, whatever you will say, whatever you uh, like, I shall do that. Just like Arjuna did. 
First of all, he was a servant of his senses. He was thinking, how can I kill my teacher? How can I kill my uh, grandfather, my brother, nephews, the other side, all my relatives? How can I kill? So that was, that thinking was, he was servant of his senses. He was thinking that this father, this brother, or this grandfather, or this teacher will uh, save me. But when he understood that nobody can save me except Krishna, then he said, Kurishe Bhatanam Tav, oh, I shall satisfy you, whatever he says. This is Krishna. First of all, he was trying to satisfy his senses. And when he understood Bhagavad Gita nicely, he agreed to satisfy the senses of Krishna. So, constitutionally, we are all servants for satisfying senses. Uh, so, uh, when instead of satisfying our four senses, this material body, sense of this material body, if we try to satisfy the spiritual senses of Krishna, that means our liberation. That we have to learn. The Prahlad Maharaj is teaching uh, that philosophy, and we are trying to follow the same philosophy. Uh, we are very glad that you come and favor us. And so it is very kind of you. Now if there is any question, we can ask. You are? Is it confusing? Yeah, um, I can understand how I can serve my own person, but I can serve another man. I can serve God. Uh, you are serving your, you are serving your senses main, you are serving the dictation of your senses. Is it not? No. Yes. Similarly, if you serve the dictation of Krishna, then you serve Krishna. You are serving your senses means your eyes want to see a beautiful thing, dictate. My dear sir, please take me to that beautiful. You go. So you are serving your dictation of the sense gratification of the eyes. You are tongue is pinching you, please give me a cigarette. Ah, oh, you at once apply, yes. So you are serving, your senses means the dictation of your senses. Similarly, if you practice to serve the dictation of Krishna, then you are liberated. Simply you have to change the account. That your service position will continue because you are eternally servant. You are never master. Then you are conditioned. Yes, everything is for satisfaction. But if you uh, sense, if you falsely satisfy your senses, that's like, suppose you are a diseased man, if you have got fever, and you want to eat some delicious food, the doctor has forbidden you, don't accept such and such food. But if your uh, senses demand that if I could eat such and such, then you become more diseased. So first of all we should understand that this, because I have got this body, it is my disease condition because I am spirit soul. I have developed this particular type of body for this gratification of false material senses. Yes. 
you cannot satisfy your senses because this is false satisfaction. Because actually, in this body, you are not this body. Uh, therefore, even you try to satisfy your senses, that is flickering and that is temporary. But the actual sense enjoyment is spiritual sense enjoyment that has no end, that has no limit. Brahma sakkam tad anantam, unlimited. Just like a diseased man, if you give a, a nice food star, he cannot eat much uh, after tasting. All right, then. Finish. Because it's disease. And give to a healthy man, oh, he takes so much. This is a crude example. Similarly, when you are spiritually purified, then actually you can make your sense in your. When you are materially contaminated, that is false, temporary, increasing your material disease. So, so by serving Krishna, uh, you will also satisfy your senses. Krishna's name is Govinda. Go means senses. And Inda means one who gives a pleasure to the senses. Do you mean to say that here the boys who are giving service to the, uh, uh, I mean to say, personality of Godhead, Krishna, they are not enjoying, without enjoying, can they serve free? They are giving service free. Whenever you go to render some service, immediately demand some money. But here in this temple, so many young boys, they are giving service free, not only that, whatever they are earning, they are also paying Krishna. So do you think, unless they get some enjoyment, they are doing it for foolishly? The sense enjoyment must be there, but that is spiritual sense enjoyment, very far sense enjoyment. We, we are training people in that way, that we don't stop your sense enjoyment but enjoy it in its purified state. Because sense enjoyment cannot be stopped. You are living entity, living being. The senses are there, but we do not know uh, the way of sense enjoyment. Uh, that is to be learned by Krishna consciousness. See, this girl, little girl, is aiming for going back to Krishna Loka. Just see. I am giving, giving an example. They don't care for uh, this material thing. They are always thinking, when I shall go there? Home, back to home, back to God. This is the psychology. Yes. No. Material body, you have to finish here. You are finishing a material body so many times, even in during uh, this bodily existence. So a material body cannot go into the spiritual world. You'll just, you have your material body here. Similarly, as soon as you enter in the spiritual world, you have spiritual body. Eh? as good as Krishna's body. Krishna has got spiritual body. Similarly, you have spiritual body. Is that clear? Yes. You dance with Krishna. You eat with Krishna, you talk with Krishna, you enjoy with Krishna. Krishna will kiss you also. (laughs) 
Krishna <coughs> is very kind to everyone. Either you love him as a lover, either you love him as your son, either you love him as your friend, or love him as your master, in whichever way you like, you can love and Krishna will respond. Jijatāmāṁ prapadyanti tāṁ satayya vajāmaham In the Bhagavad Gita I see, Krishna says, anyone who loves me in different ways or different types, so Krishna also loves reciprocate in that way. If somebody Krishna loves Krishna as an enemy, uh, Krishna also gives him uh, salvation in that way. Krishna is a That our answer that you can serve Krishna by following the dictation of Krishna. Is it not clear? That the next question may be the how you receive dictation of Krishna. Is that? So that is answered in the Bhagavad Gita, fourth chapter. Even param prapratam even raja sayogi. Just like you call this table. How you understand this is table? You have taken the idea from your parents. And where from your parents got this idea that this is a table? They also got from their parents. Therefore, this idea of table, if you do not say anything else, is received by succession. Similarly, you can receive succession order from Krishna through a spiritual mouth. Yes, because you cannot work there. Dreaming is still waste of time. <laughs> the dreaming is practically interaction of the activities, mental interaction of the activities in which you are engaged. You dream in different way, I dream in different way. So, when the body is uh, I mean, time, it cannot work, it stops functioning, the mind works. The dreaming is the function of the mind, that's all. So, eh? No. It is not from the spiritual platform, it is from the mental platform. In the spiritual platform, uh, that is called susupti. There is no gross or material function of this uh, contamination. So uh, those who are advanced, uh, they also dream a Krishna consciousness. Of course that requires time and to make uh, a little advancement. Uh, but after all, dream is the activities of the mind. Just like the, we work, that is the activities of the gross senses. Similarly, we work also when mental platform, that is called dream. Well, that depends on your particular position. Sometimes 
a Krishna conscious person dreams very seriously. Sometimes communication is there by dream. Swami, he used to sleep only for one and a half hour. Well, there is no guarantee of holding up your body. Even if you have no sleep or have sleep, uh, the material condition is so cruel that body can be finished at any moment. So uh, that is no concern. The consideration is uh, how to advance in the spiritual consciousness or Krishna consciousness. And uh, if you make, uh, I mean to say, considerable advance, then there is eating and sleeping and uh, sex demand uh, or um, defense. Uh, they, they, these things will be uh, negligible. Negligible. Uh, uh, these things are uh, depending on our practice. Because actually I don't depend on sleeping or eating or making or defending. Uh, it is simply due to my uh, bodily consciousness. These things are required. But when one is actually spiritually advanced, uh, he has no such um, appreciation. Just like uh, Lord Jesus Christ, he was crucified, but he never protested because he, he, he had no bodily consciousness at all. So when one is spiritually advanced, uh, there is no bodily consciousness. But we should not imitate. Right, that requires advancement uh, as we advance. Nothing has to be uh, done in hasty, but if we follow the rules and regulations, then uh, someday it will be uh, experienced uh, that how we are spiritually advanced. Just like if you, if you go on eating, uh, not that in the first eating, uh, First eating or first morsel and second morsel, you become immediately satisfied. But when you are full in your satisfaction of hunger, you feel happiness, you feel strength. Similarly, we have to follow the spiritual process and gradually as you develop, we become free from all these demands of the body. There was Raghunath Das Goswami. Uh, he was eating only, uh, say, a few grains of butter every alternate day. Only. A few grains of butter only. Uh, every alternate day he was eating. So eating is also um, uh, non-essential one who is spiritually advanced. And so-called sex life, uh, that is, can be given up from the very beginning. And so far defense, oh, Narayana parasabhve na kutaschana vibhati, one who is fully spiritually conscious, he doesn't care for death. So he, he does not know what is the meaning of death, because he is living perpetually. So these things have to be experienced when you are advanced, uh, but this is possible. This is possible from the examples of great saintly persons and from literature we can find that one can be completely free from the four demands of the body, namely eating, sleeping, defending, and making. Yes. 
No, nothing interferes if it is properly adjusted. Now here in our society we are actually living in family. Uh, we have got brothers, sisters, mother, father, everything. But there is adjustment. It is on the basis platform of love. There is no self-interest. Therefore it is happy. So as soon as we turn everything in Krishna consciousness, the whole world becomes peaceful and happy. Of course that is not possible. But as far as possible, we can do it family-wise. We can do it individually. As much as possible we can extend. But the platform is such nice that in that platform the family life